Hello, Year 3, and welcome to the last week, week six of your top, uh, science topic, Rocks and Soils. Before we start looking at your assessments, etc., and reviewing your knowledge for this week, I'd like to share with you something I found in the news. Okay, so the headline is Dinosaur Footprint Discovered by Four-Year-Old Girl on a South Wales Beach. And this happened on Saturday the 30th of January, so only last week, about 4 p.m. in the evening. So here's a picture showing the fossil, the dinosaur fossil in the rock. And now you're learning over this topic, you know exactly how that would have been formed. If you can't remember, look back and have um, a little revision of how fossils are formed. Lily Wilder made the discovery, sorry, made the discovery earlier this month while on a walk with her father. I'm going to read the article now. Okay, new dinosaur footprint discovered on South Wales Beach. A well preserved, remember we mentioned preserved means well kept. Um, it hasn't rotten, it's really kept in good condition. A well-preserved dinosaur footprint has been discovered on a beach near Barry in South Wales and could help scientists establish more about how dinosaurs walked. A, a four-year-old girl has discovered a dinosaur footprint on a beach near Barry in South Wales. Lily Wilder made the discover, discovery earlier this month while on a walk with her father, Richard. The footprint, which is 220 million years old, has been described as the best specimen ever found at Bendrix Bay, a beach well known for its dinosaur footprints. Lily's mother, Sally Wilder said, Lily saw it when they were walking along and said, Daddy, look. When Richard came home and showed me the photograph, I thought it looked amazing. Richard thought it was too good to be true. I was put in touch with experts who took it from there. We were thrilled to find out it really was a dinosaur footprint. And I am happy that it will be taken to the National Museum where it can be enjoyed and studied for generations. It is impossible to tell which dinosaur made the print, but as it is 10 centimetres long, it is believed to be from a type that stood 75 centimetres tall and 2.5 metres long. It would have been slender, that's another word for slim, and walked on two hind feet, so walked on its back legs, hunting small animals and insects. Permission had to be sought from Natural Resources Wales to legally remove the fossil from the beach, which is a site of specific scientific interest. It was removed earlier this week and will now be studied by experts at the National Museum in Cardiff. Now, do you remember what experts are called? What's that name for experts who study fossils? See if you can remember. If not, look back and do your revision. She said, oh, sorry, I missed a missed part out. It was removed earlier this week and will now be studied by experts at the National Museum, Museum in Cardiff. Cindy Howells, paleontologist curator from Ambwedfa, Kumwa National Museum, Wales, said the print will give scientists a better idea about early dinosaurs, how they walked. She said its acquisition by the museum is mainly thanks to Lily and her family who first spotted it. During the COVID pandemic, scientists from Amgwedfa Kumra have been highlighting the importance of nature on people's doorstep. And this is a perfect example of this. Obviously, we don't all have dinosaur footprints on our doorstep but there is a wealth of nature local to you if you take the time to really look close enough. And there you go, there's your, the picture of that footprint. How amazing is that? 
I will put that article and the pictures on to Purple Mesh. And when you've got time, it'd be really good for you to go through and reread that and also do your assessment on rocks and soils, which includes your understanding of how fossils are formed and the people that study fossils. Okay, so lesson six, this is your quiz and assessment challenge task this week. And we will be looking at what you need to do. So first of all, we are going to think about the whole topic. Can you think of 10 things that you have learnt, investigated or proved in this topic? What I'd like you to do is write down all of the facts and the activities that you have learnt from over the last few weeks. And you can look at your books to revise and you can look on the websites, the videos, etc. So you can really make sure that knowledge has stuck in your head. Write in your books everything. You can do it as a list of things you've learned or as a spider diagram. How you record it in your books is up to you. So think about 10 things you have learnt, investigated or proved in this topic. And you can see we have got some clues here. We've got a soil investigation. We've got the use of a certain type of material. What are these called? And that says permeability. What did we investigate and what did we find out? Okay. And then what I'd like you to do, you're going to complete the quiz on Purple Mash. You have all the questions here. I'm just going to um, expand this one. Okay, so we have been learning about rocks. So you've got all your multiple choice questions and you've got to choose which letter is the correct answer. Then once you've done that, we're going to move on. You have some more questions to think about. Just wait for it to load. It doesn't want to load. Okay, we've got it working again. So you've got the different parts of the topic that we've been studying and you've got questions there about rocks and the different types of rocks. Then remember we looked at different types of soil and what it was made from. The last area we were looking at were fossils. I remember that article we've just been reading about the dinosaur footprint. So you've got to find out what do fossils tell us or remember what fossils tell us? What is a paleontologist? How are fossils formed? So all of this is revising your wonderful knowledge. And here again is another view of your assessment challenge task. Remember, you can access this on Purple Mash and you can do the quiz in Purple Mash. And it would be really nice if you could record your information into your books as well. So you've got it there to study and refer to if you want to find out any more and indeed carry on revising. So that brings us to the end of our rocks and soils topic. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've learned lots and lots. If you think it would help, and I'm sure it always does, go back, look at all the information again. Look at the investigations and look at all the facts that you have learnt. Um, again, we'll move on to our next topic. And after half term, I will start the first lesson in our new topic. So revise well, remember and enjoy. See you next lesson. Bye bye.